Uh, what does it mean by effective voltage of a sinusoidal alternating current? Eh? For example, let's say uh, there are 30 students in your class. Okay, there are 30 students in your class. 30 students. There is a new physics teachers. Okay, because uh, they say, let's say your old physics teachers has resigned. Okay, there's a new physics teachers go to your class. Okay. Then the new physics teacher would like to know your standards of physics, SBM physics, your performance. Eh? He wants to know how good you are, okay, uh, your physics, okay. So now what should he do? He check the record, eh? he check the record. He want to, if he want to compare your class with another class, eh? so what can he compare is, uh, he's not, uh, what can he compare is he would take the average, right? Oh, average or the mean. Eh? The average mark of your uh, your class eh? compare with the average marks of the other class. So usually that's what teacher do. Eh? If, if a teacher want to compare uh, the standard of a class eh, to another class, okay? So the teacher will take the average. Eh? So usually the teacher won't take the highest mark. Let's say in your class, the highest mark is uh, uh, 90, 91 for your uh, first term exam. And the next, the, the next classroom, okay, uh, the highest mark is 89. If they compare these two, they say, hey, it's, uh, it's about the same. If the, this is the highest mark. But the highest mark do not give the real picture, real pictures of your standards of the whole class, right? Usually it's the average, eh? give the whole pictures of the, the your, your, your standards of the class. Eh? So that is if your teacher want to compare your physics, SPM physics standards of two classroom, eh, two classes, then how about if we want to compare uh, alternating current? How, how about if we want to compare alternating current with uh, direct currents? Eh? Let's say this one. This alternating current, so let's say this one is a 3 ampere. This 3 ampere. And uh, let's say I have another direct current. When I measure the direct current, I found that the direct current is 2 ampere. Direct current is 2 ampere. And uh, the alternating current, the maximum is 3 ampere. If I connect this alternating current to a light bulb, this alternating current to a light bulb, and then uh, this direct current, this two ampere direct currents to another light bulb. So can you tell which one, which bulb will be brighter? Which one will be brighter? The alternating, the one connected to the alternating current will be brighter or the one that connect to the two ampere direct currents will be brighter. Which one will be brighter? Without doing calculation, actually we don't know. Actually, without cal doing calculation, we don't know. You cannot say this, or oh, because this 3 ampere, the 3 ampere is only the maximum current. Because it has zero, okay, it has a 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 3 ampere, and then 2 ampere, 3 ampere again, okay? Like in the classroom, in your classroom, the highest mark is 91, the lowest is, uh, they say, just 10 marks, okay? And some of them get, get 50, okay? So you cannot use the highest mark to compare to the average of the second classroom, right? Okay, you must take the average, the average mark of your class compared to uh, the average of another class, right? So you cannot take this three ampere compared to this two ampere because this one is just a maximum. This is just the highest. Eh? So if you want to compare, you must compare the effective voltage, the effective voltage. Eh? So how to find the effective voltage? The effective voltage or the effective current, eh? the effective current or effective voltage can be calculated by using the formula V, the effective voltage, eh? and then V, uh, the maximum, okay, voltage, okay, with voltage, the, the maximum voltage, and then divided by the uh, square root of 2. This is the formula to find the effective voltage. Eh? So if you use this to find the effective voltage, uh, for example, for this case, uh, okay, we use this to find the effective current. Uh. So the effective current, I is equal to 
IP IP is three ampere. The max peak. This P is peak. We call the peak current. That is the maximum current. The peak current divided by square root of two. Okay. So use your calculator. Give me your answer. What's the effective current of this alternating current? Two point one two. Two point one two. Okay. So. Uh, if this is 2.12, this is 2, okay? So this one is slightly higher, right? Okay, actually, when you see, you, you will find that the brightness is uh, about the same. The brightness will be about the same, eh? okay? This 2.12 ampere, this 2 ampere, the brightness is the same. So the effective, eh? the effect, effective currents of this alternating currents is 2.12 ampere, and then it's, uh, it produces the same brightness as this 2 ampere's uh, direct currents generator. Uh, that is the meanings of effective voltage or effective currents. Uh. The current which produces the same heating effect or same brightness as the same values of the direct current. So the effective potential difference for an alternating current is equal to the potential difference of an alternating current if both result in the same heating effect. Potential difference of, uh, this is direct current. The effective potential difference of an alternating current is equal to the potential difference of a direct current. Huh? Direct current. Okay, now let me check your notes. Huh? Okay, so this one, uh, change, change it to a direct current. Okay, the effective potential difference for an alternating current is equal to the potential difference of a direct current. Huh? Direct current. Okay, direct current if both results in the same heating effect like the case i show you just now okay so if the alternating currents okay we have alternating currents and direct currents okay if you connect it to a bulb if you have the same brightness same brightness then the effective voltage of these two currents uh, alternating current and direct currents are the same that is the meanings of effective potential difference okay now the maximum the maximum of this alternating current is higher, okay? This one is 2 volt. Uh, this one, the maximum, the maximum, it can go to 3 volt, eh? But the effective, but the effective one is just 2 volt, eh? Effective voltage, 2 volt, maximum 3 volt. So effective potential difference of an alternating current is equal to the potential difference of direct currents if both result the same heating effect or same brightness, eh? produces the same brightness. And uh, you, you, you must uh, remember these definitions. You must remember these definitions because uh, this can be asked in your exam. Eh? And the effective potential difference for alternating current is known as the root mean square voltage, RMS. Uh, root mean square is RMS, okay? Root mean square voltage uh, of the alternating current is given by the formula VRMS equals to VP over square root of 2. So this is called the root mean square voltage eh? this is the peak voltage peak voltage eh? the peak voltage the peak voltage is measured from the center to the maximum eh? this is the peak voltage okay or to the bottoms to the minimum from the center to the maximum from the center to the maximum or the center to the minimum. So we're going to use this formula to do uh, calculations. Eh? VRMS equals to VP divided by square root of two. We use the same way to find the effective current eh? that is called the root mean square currents, okay? So the root mean square values of alternating current is the values of steady direct currents which produces same power in a resistor as the mean power produced by the alternating currents. So it's, it's uh, calculated by using the same formula, IRMS equal to IP divided by square root of 2. And the IP, eh, the IP is the peak current eh, from 0 to maximum or from 0 to the bottom, the minimum. Eh. Okay. There's the RMS current, okay, root mean square current.